Hey everybody, it's here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today starting the super duper update for Grounded and we're going for the Chillax achievement. This is to reach a maximum coziness level. Now, assuming you are coming back from a previous save, you should have enough stuff lying around to reach at least coziness level 2. So that's going to be all of your basic utility items. So just make sure you step into wherever you have your base settled and then you should automatically reach coziness level 2 just by stepping foot inside. Every time you achieve a certain level of coziness, you should unlock a bunch of blueprints to build other things to further your current coziness level. So once you get all of those blueprint unlocks, we're going to start working on coziness level 3. Now, unless your base is already out in an open area, I'm going to recommend you try to start from scratch pretty close by. So try to look for an empty lot of land and then start working on your new base, even if it is going to be temporary just for this achievement. So a quick explanation on how coziness is going to work. After this update, you're going to head over to the crafting menu and you'll notice that all of the furniture items are going to have a stat under defense called coziness. Everything is going to give a certain coziness rating and the things that give the most coziness are going to be furniture items in the decor section. So you kind of want to focus your base around that. Thankfully, something that you unlock during the first two levels of coziness are going to be the various fireplace parts. As you can see right here, they give you a fair amount of coziness, especially if you are just starting out. And they are going to be some pretty big furniture items, so this is going to be a nice thing to start a base around. Make sure you grab some pebblets, dry grass, clovers, clay, and crow feathers, and then make sure you use these to start setting up your base using the fireplace parts. So some more basic rules on how coziness is going to work in terms of the furniture that you place. You're going to get the most coziness for every first use of a piece of furniture. So for example, if you place a duplicate piece of furniture down, that second piece is going to give you significantly less and every subsequent piece is going to give you less and less. So the maximum amount of coziness you can get out of a specific type of furniture is going to be the first use of it. So even though you can place multiple instances of a certain piece of furniture, you can only get the most coziness out of the first use of it. So long story short, the more diversity you can get out of your items in one particular area, the more coziness you can get out of that area as well. So try to keep that in mind whenever decorating a specific place. So try to utilize all five types of chimney parts and then hopefully you can set up something that is going to give you a lot of base coziness to work with. Once you have your chimney in place, feel free to recycle any items that you currently have in your original base if you don't want to build new stuff. So definitely do take advantage of any and all utility items that you currently have set up, which you should have a bunch of if you have gotten this far in the game. Also, do feel free to use decor that you have used for previous achievements if you haven't already recycled them. So some good examples are going to include the berry chair, the basketball hoop, or the pet house. Make sure you move those in as well as they're going to give you a good amount of starting coziness. Also something that you can build additionally are going to be the wall mounts or the stuffed creatures. You should have the blueprints available from doing the research as well as getting the creature cards. And these are going to give you a ton of coziness for an item that you already have the blueprints for. They also don't cost too much to make. Do keep in mind the boss creature ones are going to be worth way more. So if you have the means to build those, make sure you do so. So during this whole process of you rearranging your furniture to be in a more compact base that is going to be out in the open, you should be able to unlock coziness level 3 along the way, which is going to give you more blueprints that are going to feature decor that is going to maximize your coziness even further. So make sure you try to take advantage of those when you can. So the two things that are going to give you a ton of coziness that you unlock during level 3 are going to be the bunk beds and the hot tub. So the bunk bed should be pretty easy to build. You just need acorn shells, crow feather parts, and then stems. So make sure you try to reuse these if you have a surplus of them or go and find some. They should be easy enough to make in the current build of the game. And make sure you set up your bunk beds. So around the time you finish setting up your bunk beds, you should be able to have enough stuff to reach coziness level 4. Once you do so, you should unlock some new furniture. You get the picture frame as well as the whole suite of pinecone furniture. These are going to be particularly useful for getting more coziness, so we're just going to ignore them. And then we're going to move on to setting up the hot tub next. 
So hopefully you have the means of setting up a hot tub this far into the game, but the basic supplies you're going to need are going to be crude rope, which of course you craft from plant fibers, a very basic material. You're going to need clay, which you should still have plenty of unless you waste it all on setting up the chimney. If that's the case, just make sure you dig some more up in watery areas. You're going to have the charcoal, which you can get from the barbecue pit, and then you're also going to need some pine cone pieces, which you can get in the northeastern part of the map. Once you have all of those and enough stuff to set up the hot tub, make sure you look for it in the decor section. And this one's going to be a huge boost in coziness. So definitely take advantage of this. In fact, it has a full bar of coziness. So make sure you pop that down directly in the middle of your new open air base. And that's going to set you up with a big boost towards level 5. So to get us over the finish line and to reach coziness level 5, we are going to need to set up some statues. Now there's going to be a total of 6 statues in the game. We're just going to cover the first 3 because they are the easiest to find and they're also the least complex to build build. So with that being said, we're going to look for the first blueprint. This one's going to be over at the hedge lab. I'm going to recommend that you start on the far side. So make sure you go over here, make sure you take the tunnel up. And then once you are in the hedge, make sure you climb up the tree root and then take the mushrooms up into the lab hallway. This is going to put you at the back side of the hedge lab. Once you make landfall, just make sure you follow the tube and this is eventually going to take you to this room with a bunch of spiders. Make sure you take them out along the way. You are going to get to the part of the hallway with the egg sacks. Make sure you look for this fork off to the left. Take the one that takes you further upstairs and this is going to take you to the room with the glass pillar in the middle. Make sure you look behind the glass pillar. There should be a table right here and on the table corner should be this aphid figurine. Make sure you pick that up and you should unlock the blueprint for the aphid statue. Moving on to statue number two, this one's going to be underwater, so make sure you grab your diving equipment and bring it with you. Make sure you equip a bubble helmet as well as bring a lighting source like the slime lantern with you. You want to make your way into the pond lab. We're going to be showing this from the main dome where you would normally grab the muscle sprouts. So make sure you dive down, you can take whatever entrance you want, just make sure you rendezvous at the main dome. Personally, I'm going to recommend the entrance that's going to be towards the upper right from the main dome. So make sure you look for it and then just make sure you swim in this general direction. Once you see the opening, make sure you swim on inside and then this is going to be the quickest way of getting there without getting too lost. So it's going to be right next to it right over here. So just make sure you make your way inside and then just make sure you try to surface. And then once we touch down, we're going to show this from the lobby of the dome right here. So make sure you take this door and then make your way on inside. Once you are underneath the main dome, we're going to hang a left right here. This is going to take us further into the pond lab. Basically, this is going to be the sequence you would normally do the pond lab in, but backwards. So just make sure you fumble your way down the hallways until you get to this area. This is the original entrance to the pond lab. From here, make sure you take a left. And this is going to take you into this set of hallways. Make sure you take another left. There's going to be the whiteboard right here for a reference. So if you get lost, just look for this. From here, you want to make sure you go down this way. And then which one do you want to make sure you take your first right? There's going to be a dark corridor going down here. Make sure you equip your light source and then make sure you take a swim. You're going to be in the underwater area. Make sure you swim through the hole. And then what you want to do is want to make sure you follow this along until you can surface right up here. And then once you are here, make sure you take a sharp left once you see the roots. And then right over here in this corner is going to be your figurine. Make sure you grab it out of the corner and then you should have another blueprint for another statue to your collection. Once you have that, the third and final statue we're going for for this particular achievement is going to be located over at the Haze Lab. So make sure you head on over there. If you are this far into the game, no gas mask needed as we have shut off the gas canister. So make your way inside. It should be fairly safe to do so. And then once you are in here, we're going to navigate to the room with the exploding plants. So if you forgot where that is, just make sure you follow the linear hallway, which is going to take you deeper into the lab. 
Once you make your way down that initial corridor, you're going to be right here. You want to make sure you ignore that first door and then just continue on. You're going to go through this door right here. And then you're going to get to this little intermediary section. Make sure you cross this. And then once you are here, you should be in the room with the exploding plants. Look towards your right. Make sure you walk your way forward and then take a step back. Let the thing explode first so you don't end up taking any damage. And then once the coast is clear, look behind this thing. And then right here is going to be the Weevil figurine. Make sure you grab that, and then that should be the third of the statue blueprints that we're going for. As mentioned before, there are going to be other statues. However, these are going to be the easiest three to both find and craft. And then make sure you take all of these with you back to base. And then you're going to need a bunch of acorn shells and tops for these. So if you're missing some, make sure you hit up the oak lab area and then grab some. You're also going to need a ton of stems. And make sure once you have all of those materials, make sure you craft each one of the three statues and then just pop them in your base. So just make sure you place down one of each and each of which is going to give you a big boost to your current coziness. And then hopefully with all three, in addition to the rest of your base, you should have enough to hit level five. If for whatever reason you are still short, feel free to rearrange some furniture closer together or craft some easy furniture. For example, you can make more wall mounts, stuffed creatures, the koi chair or the trash can. And then with all of those in this basic configuration, you should have enough to hit that level five. Once you've done so, you should be good for the achievement. There it is. It's going to be for 50 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.